Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Make a Mod. In the last episode I showed you how to create uh, tools. We made a full sight axe, hammer and pickaxe. And in this episode we're going to start with some basic weapons. Uh, weapons that uh, will improve later on like with our bow and staff. I add in new ammo and projectile but for now we're going to just go with basic what's already in Terraria and why not? So we can start with a short sword. First, we can do add new class, Let load the templates, and full sight. We're doing short sword first. Short sword. I'm gonna get rid of all this. Do using Terraria, Terraria .mod loader, using Terraria .id, and using Microsoft .framework. Make it a public mod or public class, sorry. Then we're going to override our set defaults. First, we can do the size, and we can do I think it's something like 16 by 16. It's probably wrong, but that's fine. We'll fix it if it is. Now we're going to do the uh, weapon property. So item dot melee equals true. Item dot damage equals fourteen. Item dot dog bag equals five F. Item dot crit equals four. So that's our basic weapons uh, stats, I guess you could say. Then we're gonna do our use time and animation. So use time is gonna be eleven. Item dot use animation is also gonna be eleven. Item dot use style equals item style id or use style id and it is stabbing then item dot use sound equals sound id dot item one and then finally do the value item dot buy price i'm gonna do silver seven i don't know what uh the prices would actually be I'll balance it out and then rarity is going to be we'll do blue and that's basically it for the properties of the uh, short sword we're going to now add the recipe public override add recipes mod recipe r equals new mod recipe mod r dot add ingredient mod content dot item type of uh, full sight bar and we're going to do six of those and r add tile tile id dot anvils r dot set result this r dot add recipe there we go we have our short sword already done nice and quick now let's create the Broadsword. So full sight broadsword. Again using Terraria. Using Terraria dot uploader. Using Terraria dot ID. Using Microsoft dot XNA dot framework. Public class mod item. Public override set defaults. Again, we're going to just copy over these properties just so we can scale it a bit better. And let me just switch over to my other reference. So we're going to increase the damage to 17. Knockback is going to stay the same. Crit is going to stay the same. Item.use time, we're going to increase to 20. Damage is changed to wing row and that stays the same. This time we're going to do item.autoreuse equals true, so we'll keep swinging it and item.use turn equals true. So we'll turn with the item or the direction we're facing. So again, let's add the recipe mod recipe r equals new mod recipe of mod r.add ingredient mod content dot item type 
will say R. And this time it's 8. Then add tile, tile ID, dot anvils, R dot set result this. And I didn't mean to put conditions and add recipe. So that was very quick. I'm also going to change these to 32 just so we know that's around the right size. I think we had the half size. So the broad sword and short sword are kind of the same, changing a few properties. Now let's create the bow. So full sight bow. Again, using Varia. Varia dot mod loader using Varia dot ID using my using Microsoft dot XNA dot framework and mod item public override set defaults and this time you can do item dot size equals new effect two gonna be twelve twenty eight and item dot ranged equals true because this is a ranged weapon item dot damage equals will do sixteen item dot knockback equals zero f uh bows don't have any knockback it's the arrows that do item dot crit will set four item dot no melee equals true we don't want the bow itself to deal damage it's only the arrows that deal damage if you want uh no melee to be set item dot use time equals 26 item dot use animation equals 26 item dot use style equals item use style id and this time you're using holding out or five item dot use sound equals sound id dot item five now we're going to make it create the projectile so item dot shoot equals projectile id dot wooden arrow friendly item dot shoot speed equals and we'll do 8.75f then item dot use ammo equals ammo id dot arrow this will ensure that the bow is using any arrow it will shoot the uh, arrow in whatever the first slot is arrow then we'll do the item dot value equals item dot buy price i'll do silver seven copper fifty and item dot rare equals item rarity id dot blue and now to create the recipe public override add recipes mod recipe r equals new mod recipe mod r dot add ingredient mod content dot item type of full site bar and it's seven for this one r dot add tile well id dot anvils r dot set result this r dot add recipe and that's that i feel like to make clear that the uh values for the ingots i'm putting in are based on the average for uh the vanilla game one so the gold uses seven uh bow uses eight in its broadsword and six in its broadsword so with that done let's create our final weapon which is the staff a new class all site staff just do this even though that's going to show an error because we do this Okay, public override set defaults. 
I just want to do public override set static defaults. So because this, because of the way the holding out uh, um, view style works, it the staff ends up being off center. So you do item staff of item dot type equals true. This will make it so when we have it drawn, it will be drawn correctly. So item dot size equals new vector two to forty item dot magic equals true. And because it's magic, we're gonna also have to give it a, a mana or mana cost. And we'll set it to five. Item dot damage will set to seventeen. Item dot knockback will set to three point seven five F. Item dot crit equals four, and item dot no melee again. The staff doesn't deal damage; it's the projectile. Item dot use time equals thirty four. Item dot use animation equals thirty four. Item dot use style. As I said, it uses the holding out style. Item use style ID. Holding out. Item dot use sound equals sound ID dot item forty three. This is the sound that all the staffs make. And because we haven't got a projectile and we'll be covering it in the future, I'm just gonna do the amethyst bolt. Amethyst bolt item dot shoot speed equals and we'll do nine point two five F. And then item dot value equals item dot buy price of silver nine. Item dot rare equals item gravity ID blue. Then let's create the recipe again. And you probably guessed it's just going to basically be this again. And this time we use 10 bars instead. So that's the uh, four basic weapons. We've got the graphics. The ones that shoot projectiles are going to sh uh, shoot existing projectiles. But if we go over to Bavaria here, and we uh, build our mod, build and reload. Streaming, everything gone, has gone correctly. We single player go into our test world and now we want to get the item ow mod so open the menu get rid of these ones because those are my sample ones we want these so here's our broadsword, as you can see, swings, deals damage. Here's... Did I accidentally pick two broadswords by accident? Did indeed. Here's our short sword. See it stabs. Uh, I was hoping there might be some enemies. Let's increase the spawn rate. And hope some enemies spawn. Okay, there's a slime down here. This is the 1.3 short sword, so uh, we can't exactly hit it downwards. Then we got the staff. Let's go over here. As you can see, we're dealing damage, and the uh, mana cost is going down. And finally, the bow, as you can see, shoots arrows. Shit. So, with that, we've got our weapon done. Well, weapons done, I should say. And in the next episode, I'm going to do some more advanced stuff with the weapons. We're going to create a yo yo, uh, create a projectile for the. Um, staff and hopefully be able to show 
some interesting stuff. So until the next episode, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Until the next one, thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>